For initial setup, I created a new project using the blank activity template. Let's start off by heading into our main activity XML file and creating our design. The first thing we're going to do is change our root layout to a relative layout. Then get rid of the Hello World text view and the unnecessary XMLNS attribute. Alright, now let's add a button so that we can have something for the user to press to get our alert dialog to pop up. Set its width and height to wrap content so our button is only as big as its text. It's also going to need an ID so that we can access it in our Java file. Under that, use the center and parent attribute so that it's centered in our relative layout. We want a text attribute as well so that our button says something. I'm going to set mine as alert me. Lastly, let's set our text size to 20 SP so it's nice and large for our users to see. Underneath our button, we're going to add a text view so that when our user presses OK and the alert dialog pop up, they'll get a nice little response in our main view. Let's give our text view a width and height of wrap content. Assign it an ID. Use the layout below attribute and set it to the ID of our button so that our text view displays underneath our button. Let's also center it horizontally so that it lines up with the button. I'm going to give it a quick margin top so our two elements aren't mashed together. For our text property, let's set it to alert received. Give the text view a larger text size as well so that our users can read it properly. The final attribute I'm going to add is visibility and set it to invisible. This is because we only want our text view to show after our users press OK and the alert dialog pop up. Alright, that's looking pretty good, so let's move into our main activity Java file. Let's start by declaring two class level variables, one for our button and another for our text view. Now, inside our onCreate method, we're going to wire together a button and text view we just declared above with our XML elements using the findViewById method. Underneath that, we need to use our alert button to call setOnClickListener so that we can begin setting up how we want our listener to respond to our input from pressing the button. Pass in a new view.onClickListener interface into setOnClickListener so we can implement its onClick method in order to respond to the user's input. Inside onClick, we need to create a new alert dialog.builder object to create our alert dialog pop-up. Pass main activity this into the builder so that it knows we want to create an alert dialog for our main activity. Next up, we need to set up a few properties for our alert dialog. The set cancelable property allows us to designate if we will allow our users to tap outside the alert dialog to cancel it and close it. We're going to pass in true here to permit them to do that. The set title and set message properties do exactly what their names imply. They allow us to display our text to the user in the form of a title and a more detailed message. With those properties taken care of, let's move on to how we want our alert dialog to respond to our users pressing its buttons. First up is a cancel button. To begin setting up its behavior, we are going to use our builder to call set negative button. The first argument takes the text we want to display on our cancel button. I'm simply going to set mine to cancel. The second argument is looking for an onclick listener so that it knows how to respond to the user pressing the cancel button. Because we are dealing with an alert dialog, we are going to pass in a new dialog interface to onclick listener interface. Similarly to what we did in our above listener, we need to implement the onclick listener's interface's onclick method in order for it to respond to our input. Inside the onClick method, we're just going to use dialog interface's cancel method so that our program knows to cancel our alert dialog pop-up. Now, the only other button left to implement is our OK button. In Android, this is known as a positive button. I'm going to breeze through this boilerplate code quickly because it's nearly identical to our negative button. The only differences are that we need to use the set positive button property instead of set negative button, and our text should be set to OK instead of cancel. In our onclick method, we're simply going to unhide that text view we created earlier to let our user know that we got their feedback from the alert dialog. Finally, we need to use the builder.show method to actually display the alert dialog when they press our button. Now when I run my app and press the button, you'll see our alert dialog pop up. 
I can click out of it to cancel it or just hit the cancel button. And when we hit OK, our program displays our text view to let us know we accepted the alert dialogs message. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found this useful.